<laughs> yeah, no, no Denzel Valentine or Thomas Gafford tonight. As you mentioned, they're downtown playing for the parent bowls against the Houston Rockets. The opening tip-off control, a couple of tips in. Good defense by Bender. Still scoreless as we approach the 90-second mark of this opening half. Nice and drive there like by that. Cam Reynolds, one of their two-way guys. Johnson Hurd has a pretty athletic group as well, but I think Windy City has an advantage on the perimeter. Floater in the paint for P.J. Dozier. Dozier, in his third season, played under Frank Martin, Ender, who thought he was going to get a chance to really flourish in Milwaukee. He can either take the assignment either two ways, and it seems early on he's taking it in stride. Reynolds penetrates. Nice last-second pass near the front of the iron. Farrakhan thought about the three, gives it right back to Makoka. Hands it off to Struess. Catch and shoot three there you is go. good for Max Struess. Here's Dozier. Doyle, wide open look from the left corner. Right. Dragon Bender. For a seven-footer, the guy can dribble as well. Bender, a catch and shoot three from the right wing is good. Yep, he can do that. In Oshkosh. Luke May checking in the former North Carolina Tar Heel. Shot clock down to 10, three from the left side. No, May gets the rebound and forcing his way to get the bucket and one. You can hear the crowd behind the percent in the early going now at 33% from three-point territory. Yeah, both teams a little bit cold right now, but that's to be expected, trying to adjust to their surroundings. Floater for DJ Hogue. That foul, you shoot once for two points. If it's a three-shot foul, you shoot once for three points. So it puts a lot of pressure on the shooters, and we've seen that percentages have been down in the opening weekend. A.J. Hess fires a three. Out of the timeout, Bulls controlling it. In the front court, Dozier, nice feed. Up and over the reverse layup. Good for Justin Sines. First season with Windy City. Was with St. John's last year out in the Big East. Has to oh, catch nice and shoot. Block there by Struess. Rejected by Mad Max in transition. Dozier guarded by May. Five minutes to go in the opening frame. P.J. Alley-oop off the window. Top 100 recruit. Was a surprise he went to Vanderbilt in the first place as Hogue penetrates. Right. Contested layup is good. Near errant pass. Hess in the corner. And a little erratic play from both sides. Max with an open look and a two-hand jam. Go, for the hometown product, Max Struess. Daniel Gafford with. Denzel Valentine, minutes for the backhand of the bench were limited last night. He wants to see more from those guys this evening. And they're trying to make sure that they can pick up the flow of having to just step in that line and make down that one pressure shot. Terrific pass yeah, from pass. Milton Doyle and the flush. Dion Goodman checking in his first minutes of the young campaign. Three from the right side is good. Ring it up for V.J. Beecham. Show game clock to shot clock. Doyle off the Goodman screen. He'll fire a deep three off the backboard. <laughs> and get final shot. Tucker Adams at the buzzer. It's nice good. Guy, Education day this year. You'll look forward to that, Mark. Yeah. I, I, 11 a.m. tip off, screaming <laughs> students. It's going to be a fun game. I think the herd is going to go to more as the night goes on. Jamario Jones, Butterfingers. Adams recovers with three on the shot clock. Jones from the corner for th struggling over the great wall of Bender. Jones catch and shoot. No. I think that was a designed pass. Successful. Wanted a foul. Yeah, Doesn't get the call. Yeah, he for a foul, and that couldn't get the whistle. Behind the back, Adams, Hogue, Luke May, a catch and shoot three from the left May side. It's it good. We talked about Luke May in North Carolina. You know, for fans who come out here, they're getting a chance to see players who are are not strangers. They've seen them play college ball. As we get a three point shot from the corner for PJ Dozier, the fast break. We'll slow it down as he waits for Bulls to, to follow him in transition. Front court, Doyle, left side three. There you go. Good. He's seven feet, went to UNLV, just played one season in Las Vegas. Struce for go. three, a step back three is good. Struce on the loose for three. 32 left, Max Struce, sharpshooter from the corner. Back after this on NBC Sports Chicago. Where players want to catch the ball, where they like it best in different situations, and that's something they'll learn. And Milton Doyle from way downtown, knocks down his fourth three of the game. Max Struess gets the rebound, Windy City the other way. An aggressive rebound by Struess. Simon on the other end, finds Doyle, Milton penetrates, finds Simon and rewards him Very off nice. the left window. Yeah, I think to this point we're seeing a little bit of fatigue from this back-to-back -back situation. Even though the, these, both these teams went through demanding training camps, maybe a little bit tired in the second leg of back-to-back -back as Jonathan Bender, or Dragon Bender converts there. Doyle picks up the dribble. They'll go to the left corner. Simon, a catch and shoot three with one on the shot clock. Line foul is going to be called on Milton Doyle. Yeah, there you see Doyle could have forced a shot. Adams wants the three. He stepped back just enough to go. get it from the quick outlet pass to P.J. Dozier. 
And a three is good. Ring it up for Justin Simon. You can see Wisconsin's trying to cut off every driving opportunity for P.J. Dozier. I'm sure in their scouting report. No, look Whoa. out below. There's some Kiss serious the upstairs. sky, young man. We've got a timeout. We'll keep the action Here's here. Here's the dunk again. The aerial that is display. Some serious hang time. At a faster pace, they're trying to take more of their shots from the three-point range, and the Windy City Bulls are doing the same thing. Tucker for three, rattles home. The bounces off the iron, and Jamario Jones with the rebound for the herd. They're Reynolds. going for a two-for-one situation. It works out perfectly. I mean, not a six-point lead, but a 14-point lead. lead. Spinning and Jamario Jones. Yeah, he was flying in with the bubblegum shoes and lays it in. Coach Cotter gave them a, a good halftime speech, made some adjustments, and we'll see better execution in the second half. Jamario not, Jones. Yeah, not good defense there. Jones with another rebound. He averaged a double-double in his senior season at New Mexico State, propelled him to become the whack player of the year, and a three off the bat for Rajon Tucker. Tucker with the outlet. Jones. Goes to the right side, a dribble, and a patient three. And, and Windy City 0 for 2 in that first half, so we're not seeing a lot of free throws. Now Bender back to that three-point line, knocks it down. That is probably the strong point of his game right now. You know, Bender's young enough, as you mentioned, he doesn't turn 22 until later this month. He probably will get another opportunity in the league. Dozier with the interception pass intended for Dragon Bender. Good ball movement by Windy City. Adams, high dribble, penetrating. Forced to pass it to Cam Reynolds. Right oh. wing three is good. It's not going to help you because it just creates opportunities for the other team to take off in transition. Tucker, contact, trying to muscle a layup. Second chance, bucket's good. He didn't do much last night in the opener with five points, but he's also come on a lot more aggressively in this game and very effective. Dozier, the elbow, lost the dribble. Or <laughs> no. Dropping into the midst of Milton Doyle. Doyle on the fast break. Here comes Milton with a finger roll. University of Idaho mm -hmm. in Moscow. The Idaho. Vandals. That's right. Yeah. McCoy, a second chance opportunity. Able to soft touch with the right hand. Stick around to play at least one more season with first-year head coach Jerry Stackhouse, who coached right. Raptors 905 a few seasons ago. A whistle of foul. Missing a jumper as the Bulls are trying to cut this deficit bit by bit. Here in this third quarter, may a catch and shoot three is good. The rebound exhorting his team to push the ball up the court. No, oh, look out below, P.J. Dozier. <laughs> Too much Ta separation from McCory. Take another look at P.J. come flying into your screen. They challenge late. Bulls just trying to crawl their way back into this ball game. Dozier on the inbound. Beecham, catch and shoot from the key is good. Nothing but net. Trying to steal a jump. He didn't have to worry about it, but he did anyway. <laughs> See, the Bulls can capitalize on the yeah, bucket, they and they do. Footer's got some handles. Out to Luke May. Back inside, Bender. Yeah, Ooh, too deep there. Feet. He had Justin Simon pinned under the basket, an easy two. Great effort. Gets his own rebound. Here comes oh. Struce. No foul. Simon with a second chance board. It's good. And Chase Buford, I rate. Doyle left corner. 85 seconds left in the third. A three is good for Justin Simon from the left wing. One hand pass from Dozier. Finds Milton Doyle near the right corner. There's Simon again for three. Cross there court you go. pass. Two in a row. Polish this Big Mac <laughs> in a couple of minutes. And everyone's quite jealous as we're yeah. getting these Big Macs out for the for the Simon. Leaning oh. in with the floater. Contact was made. Balls loose. And a good effort by P.J. Dozier. VJ left corner three there is go. good. Nothing but net. Able for the Bulls to get back to within single digits. And there's Dozier on cue. Finds Simon on cue. Left wing three is good. <laughs> Dozier thought about penetrating. Finds Milton Doyle on the right wing. Milton driving. Milton off the window. In a blocking oh, foul. They twirl it. I always thought they were not going to challenge anything, are they? Players can't challenge that. There's Doyle for three. Catch it. There you shoot. go. 130 30 points. Yeah. That's impressive stuff. He is really heated up after a kind of a slow start. And now Luke May trying for three. Oh, and he answers. Ice water in the veins of Luke May. Dozier finds Farrakhan Hall in the left corner. Over six to play in the fourth. A whistle and a <laughs> foul. A four-point play coming up. P.J. Dozier for three. To Farrakhan Hall. Good ball movement by Windy City. In the elbow. Dozier. One dribble, fall away, Jay is good, and we're tied at 94. Tips are out of bounds, so the ball will stay with the Wisconsin herd with a chance to grab the lead. 
Reynolds off the inbound, forcing a three. Nothing but net. Cam Reynolds. City. Doyle penetrates. Milton. Contested layup Strong off the glass. Having a little bit, trying to gain an advantage, but I thought on that play, Doyle should have not have been whistled for a foul. Behind the back pass, Colin Dre finds Simon. Off there balance, shot is good with one on the shot clock. The ball game, four point lead for the herd. Adams with four on the shot clock. A deep three from oh, all the way goodness. from Barrington, <laughs> trying to quiet the crowd. The late stretch of this fourth quarter, it's been all herd. And they were fortunate with a couple of bulls fouling out. Maybe one more three from Milton. Why not? <laughs> he, he's had an incredible night. And Wisconsin spoil the home opener for the Windy City Bulls. Both teams spoil the home openers. The Herd with a 111-102 victory. They survive.